Where are you? Zaddy. 45 is my age. Zaddy. What does HGTV stand for? Ho Garden TV. Zaddy. <laughs> to the vlog. I know there's gonna be people commenting that's gonna be like, Stephanie, you're losing so much luck opening your umbrella. Well, this is technically a light umbrella. It's not supposed to shield you from sun nor rain. It's just for lighting. So hopefully this won't mean bad luck because I have to use a bunch of these every single day. And everyone's like, that explains a lot. <laughs> I just wanna clear some shit up. First of all, it is not morning. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Since we got back from Korea about a week ago, I've been a teeny weeny, teensy weensy bit behind, but I'm hoping that this week everything will catch back up. And on top of that, like it's four o'clock, I'm starting my vlog and I wanna say, it's not just me. Do you guys see this? Four o'clock, usually the sun is just shining on through, literally UV raying my eyeballs out of this world. But today, no. Lately, the past week, it's been pretty gloomy in LA. Kind of a little bit. Oh. Is that gloomy April? April gloom? You know it's May. May gloom? <laughs> No, it's supposed to be April showers bring May flowers. But it's May. I need some shower. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you do or I do? You do. The reason, if you guys never see a sexy pose, a sexy picture on my Instagram, you know, like that thoughty pic that every girl wants to take, it's not my fault. It's not because I'm not sexy. And that has to do with like maybe 99% of the reason. But the other 1% of why I don't have those pictures on my Instagram is because my freaking fiance doesn't understand let me show you guys I put on this lace bralette right I had it on instead of this white t-shirt with these like a uh, pink skirt or whatever it's not a skirt it's pants on the inside I wore this with the matching pink blazer I was really feeling myself I was like oh girl she looking good and my fiance goes really you're gonna go out in that and I go why what's wrong with it and he goes I can see like all of your boob and I go what and he goes under your boob I see your under boob and I'm like bitch that's torso fat but anyways I'm gonna be doing a bunch of things today and we're gonna be going to send Tree City because I saw these little peach mochis on their Yelp page and on top of that I saw the desk prices online today and I was like bits I don't understand desks are for learners desks are for students desks are for people who are trying to get work done why must you be so expensive like it's just it's counterproductive you know you know what they should make more expensive what I don't know something I don't use <laughs> cigarettes <laughs> they should make cigarettes more expensive you know in Korea on cigarette packages. I asked my dad about this. They have pictures of people that are dying. No. I mean, I don't know if they're real people or like actors or they like, I don't know what happened, but they're like, they look very ill. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Do you see her? Do you see her? And then there's the father is missing. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like that. He's a cloud of smoke because he's been smoking too much sex. That mm -hmm. is crazy. Yeah, because Korea is like one of the top countries for cigarette smokers. I believe from what I heard last time. So this is what my bedroom looks like right now and we're trying to completely redo it. So you guys know that I have my dresser and my mirror right here. Biz was crap. Get, right and then today this morning we put in this dining table that is originally in the living room into the bedroom for the sole purpose of I just wanted to get the feels I just wanted to get the vibe of if I like this setup because I think I want to put like a mini desk right here like move this back outside obviously because it looks massively intrusive in this bedroom and then we're gonna just put like a skinny little mini desk like enough to fit like a laptop and my iPad and that's gonna be kind of like my little workstation because I have realized a couple things about myself. So first things, leave it in the comments. Where do you guys do most of your studying or work? Like if you ever have to sit down in your own home and you have to focus and concentrate and do computer work, where are you located? I find that being in the living room, it's so strange because it's just me and my fiance living here. But the living room, for some reason, I always get distracted. Like I don't feel like it's a confined space. So like anyone can walk in and out of the living room, even though it's literally just me and my fiance. I feel like it's a communal space. So I don't feel like I'm Included, like hermited away and I really like the feeling of being hermited away when I'm editing especially and so it's just it's a very interesting vibe and I always find that when I'm in the living room it's like way too close to the kitchen like so close that like every two seconds I remind myself that like oh maybe you're a little bit hungry and I'll pop up or there will be like one 
freaking cup in the sink and I'll be like, oh my god, that one cup in the sink and I can't forget about it because I'm literally right next to the kitchen. And then the office, which was intended to be like my editing office, it's just, it's not working out for me well either. If you guys watched a couple of vlogs ago, I talked about this, but I have this thing where I don't like seeing shadows in room doors, if that makes any sense. I don't like the fact that inside the office, you can't see the full bathroom and that bothers me. It sounds so stupid, but the fact that like I don't want to close the bathroom door because that stresses me out more. It's like guarded and it's like completely dark in there. But if I leave it open, then it creates this like black shadow from the like from the bathroom. And so I realized that the one place for the past couple of weeks that I have kept coming back to has been the bedroom. It's like so secluded. It just feels very intimate in here and I've just been doing most of my work on this bed sis there's literally nowhere to sit in this bedroom so i'll alternate between sitting on this rug and then sitting on this bed and <laughs> your business back is hurting like hello i'm 55 i'm just kidding You're and so my back now? has been hey i need to hurry and get it desk. so we're gonna go shopping and right there Hopefully, I found one on West Elm that fits perfectly, I believe. I'm just hoping to find a tiny, 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 tiny little desk for there. And then it'll be right next to the window and I can like look out and it'll be so cute and yeah, like... I put this thingy here, but I didn't go all the way. We have 46 in width, 20 inches deep, 26 inches tall. No, 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 no. get that height. Get what height? height? This day. 30. 20, 30, 46. Yeah, 20, 30, 46. Zaddy. It just feels like it's been forever since I've come to this mall. It's like so many memories associated. It's so weird. We're also gonna see if Heidi Lot was open. What? With what? Yeah, it was open last time. We're just gonna go into the mochi place first. Wow, wow. Oh my god, I need one of these. Let's get one of these. Wait, Wait how much like is that? that? I don't think... Two pieces is $50. Are you serious? It is. Okay, but these are cool. I am so confused. Why is this $24? Yeah, so more filling, so less that's cake. Chestnut. That's amazing. Okay, you do that. I'm gonna go see what I... <gasps> these look kind of like Korean hokbangs with the red beans inside. That looks delicious. Look at this. It's an entire white peach in jelly. But... Now we are headed into Italy because they always have like a good pick of like baby octopus, baby squid. They've got a lot of seafood, so we're gonna go check it out in there. <laughs> I almost slipped and died on what even is that? An avocado shell? <laughs> if my mom were here, she would have told me to slip. <laughs> she would have pushed me down and said, you know what? Get that lasso money, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I don't know what happened. We walked into Italy looking for little baby octopus, tiny little baby octopus. They didn't have it, and we're walking out with prime dry aged tomahawk steak from Kansas. Oh my god. How long is it dry aged for? How long? Mm -hmm. 200 years. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that Japanese ribeye. $100 a pound that you Look probably can't marble. break. The only time I know marble. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the granite and the quartz counter. <laughs> the first time in forever that we use the back door. The sun is coming down guys and we just got to West Elm. I was in the back because I was taking a quick nap. And the sun. I kind of miss like walking. I feel like I never walk. It definitely a thousand percent feels a lot more dangerous to walk like outside downtown. I really only walk to like CVS and Whole Foods which is like right there and I would never go at night alone. Let's go to West Elm. Right there. This one's massive. This is it. This is the wow, desk. It's so tiny. Okay, let me try sitting in it. See, we could make this one fit. Do you like this one better? Do I look like a... You look like a student at <laughs> skipping school. Skip? <laughs> oh, I really slept weird. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm embarrassed. I can't turn. I can't. So what do you want? Yeah. Small one? But this one's much larger. Do you? You don't? I don't know. I don't know. Let's get that one. Alright, that's it. Let's browse around the other things really quickly. Since we're here, we might as well. Honey, this is so cute. It says dear dog. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. It says dear doggy and it's a little bowl. I really like this. I wouldn't even use this to store butter. I would just use it for shits and giggles as design. Like, this is so cute. Tell me that's not cute. That's that cute. That is really cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think oh you just god. put it down though, really. Oh my god, that's so cool. I am getting anxiety, I'm walking away. So my fiance checked online before we came to this West Elm and it said that they had one on display. So I don't know why he just thought that meant that we're gonna have just a plethora of them in storage. And we went up and we asked and they said that it doesn't show that they do, but they might have one. So 
we're like literally sitting here fingers crossed that they have it because we don't want to pay for shipping and also shipping takes forever while we're waiting i don't want to sit like a sitting duck getting anxious so i'm gonna go browse <gasps> wait this is the dream cooler that i wanted which is sixty dollars that's wild yes what do they have it they don't have it okay hold on i'm coming to you that didn't go well pretty much they don't have it in store they don't even have it at the downtown location i feel like a little kid getting chauffeured around in the back thank you get a bunch of cheese and a cheese grater tomorrow and we are still back the next day with this round ass desk in this bedroom you know what a girl last night had such big dreams i was thinking this is about to be bootleg hgtv it's about to be what does hgtv stand for ho garden tv i went to west elm and honestly here's the thing about west elm i think i don't love west elm <laughs> i love the stuff at west elm i have never had a good experience to this day with anybody from west elm my experience at cb2 the people were so nice they're so sweet to you like they don't care if you're not buying anything big like they're just so sweet and then west elm like every single time i've gotten and i've only been to two locations so maybe that's why but especially the one on beverly boulevard <sighs> Not the best customer service. My biggest pet peeve is when you're in a store There's employees and then there's like customers and a customer is like waiting by the cashier stand And the two employees are doing something together. It's like, okay, it's fine Like I don't think you need to drop everything like what if you have something that's way more important But just turn around and say oh, thank you ma'am. I acknowledge your existence. We'll be right with you, right? That's what I would have done when I was in retail I think it's also because I did work retail so I have a little bit of different standards because I know what they try to teach you during training so I'm like really you can't even acknowledge my presence and say you'll get to me instead they're just I don't know like maybe I'm nitpicking leave it in the comments that just really irks my gears and then when they did get around to helping us they weren't like really nice about it or anything like that I mean they weren't mean but they were just like yeah we don't have it mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah you can try Santa Monica whatever Oi, what's hey lady where's the entrance for this building I'm a special guest, that's why I'm awake at 9.55 to film a mukbang. One hour later! We just finished filming a mukbang. Guys, I'm with Anna. Hi. Holy shit! So do you watch mukbang on YouTube? No. Ever? You never I've watched never watch mukbang? Watch no, I don't want to watch other people eat. It'll make me hungry. Really? Yeah. yeah. I've seen it in passing. Like, I saw the lady who, like, dismantled her computer and made it into, like, a hot pot stove and then, like, cooked her lunch at her desk. In her office. Yeah, she now has, like, a food channel, I guess. I aspire to be her. Like, yeah. if I was an employee, like, that's what I would dream of doing. Yeah, it's really smart. Yeah. But, like, okay, what was the hardest thing you've ever done in your entire life? Oh, my entire life. You're, like, being with you right now. <laughs> The hardest thing I've ever done was trying to figure out a way to reconcile like my sister's death with something that was meaningful and like how can I make this serve me in a way um, and now I feel like people get annoyed because it's like all I talk I talk about it a lot or like all no. the time so but it, it is like a very important part of like who I am and, and like yeah. saved my life but don't you think you've helped so many people I think so I hope right? so yeah I feel like so many people could like nobody else really talks enough about it yeah so I'm like oh my god you're even helps them. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to be 30. Okay, how do you feel about being 30? I'm so excited. You're excited? I think age is a privilege. I think, like, it's so exciting to get older and to, like, know new things and, like, oh be in a new phase of life. And, like, yeah, I'm excited to grow older. Most people that turn 30 are sad, so I love this. Yeah, no, yeah. I like it. I've always felt like I was old inside. Like, even when I was a small child, I mm -hmm. felt like 45 is my age. And so okay. I'm excited to get closer to how I feel on the inside, you know? <laughs> Wait, you felt like you were 45 since you were younger? Yeah. Okay, why? Oh, well, I don't like, I don't like partying and like, you don't I, go out. I don't really go out. I mean, I try to force myself now because I'm like, that's how you meet people and like, that's how you can hang out with people and have a good time. Um, but like, as a kid, I always liked going to bed early. I liked reading. I liked living a very like studious, structured, solitary life. Wow. Yeah. That's why I was so intimidated to meet you. Why? Because you seem very disciplined and I'm like the total opposite. That's good so, though. Is it though? I feel yeah. like you're like, is your house so neat? 
Yeah, I'm a night freak. Are you really? Yeah. Like, okay, what are the things you have to do before you go to sleep? Um, do you have a routine? I do have a routine. Well, I feed my cats. I give them all their medication, or at least they have medication. Yeah, a bunch of them are on medication. For what? <laughs> well, Congress is the one who's like yeah. an inbred muppet, oh. and so he's on a lot of different stuff for like his heart and his bladder and his liver. And then Beetle has asthma, so he has like a little like kitty inhaler that I have to give him. Abby has hyperthyroid, so she's got a medicine. Jimmy um, just finished his rounds of meds because he had cancer, but um, now he's better. Um, and then Lily is my oldest, but she's perfect and doesn't need anything. Really? Yeah. So, Wait, so how long does that? It takes like half an hour to like feed them and medicate them and then like I'll clean litters and I'll like just clean up my house a little bit, make sure all the dishes are done, I'll read, I'll journal, and then I usually go to bed. Oh my gosh. It's like the creepiest thing you've done then. Like I've done so many creepy things. Have you really? Yes. I've been a snoop, like Have I've you ever like snooped? snooped? You what? Continue. I've like hacked into my boyfriend's email or but did they find out uh yes of course they like how did it like, like, <laughs> like their computer was open and you hacked it yeah okay but it wasn't like you were sitting there like it like no no that no, shit no because that would be that would, that was a lot yeah. i've driven by the house if i know where someone lives um drive by and just look at it um like <laughs> look for them in the house or just look at the house just look for them in the house to see if they're home or if they're like, with look someone for them, else. like are they in the shower yeah. <laughs> look through the windows like where are you okay you never looked no i've never looked through the window but you've driven by i've driven by to see if they were with someone else mm -hmm. that's like some shit that i would do yeah i like this you had sleep paralysis last night before you came oh my god i'm so sorry no 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 because i think i was so like you know how sleep paralysis medically comes like when you're stressed yeah and i was like so nervous about meeting you that I had sleep paralysis and it's like okay that side is like my good side you yeah. know but then like th I had to sit on this side today uh -huh. because my neck won't turn <gasps> and so I had sleep paralysis that there was a ghost on this side oh and they were like god. taunting me that I couldn't look at them oh my god and and you're like, ah! oh my god <laughs> So Anna just left and I looked so pale compared to her the entire time I was embarrassed. I was like, damn it, girl needs a self-tanner. By the way, leave it in the comments. Have you guys ever been to a tanning salon? Like, I don't want to be in a hot bed. I don't want skin cancer. But let me know if you've gotten a spray tan or if you have like my skin tone, my complexion. Does it look weird? I don't want to come out looking like Trump's little daughter. You know what I'm saying? Actually, Ivanka Trump nonetheless is kind of pretty. So like, maybe. But like, no, I don't want to look orange. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Leave in the comments if you guys have gotten a spray tan before because I'm so nervous. I want one for the summer. I just don't know how to tan and you guys know I'm very scared of the sun and I always slather on sunscreen so maybe this is a good alternative. But oh, my experience meeting Anna, which honestly I think that this is going to be a very interesting vlog and nothing like all of the other collabs that I've done in the past like where I've just kind of like like the vlogs are like my usual style vlogs and then they come and then we talk about like usual stuff that I always talk about but meeting Anna was very interesting in a really good way like I've always kind of like there are youtubers that I want to work with because I've watched their content for so long and I I feel like I vibe with them like I feel like I understand them like I feel like we would get along like we have the same sense of humor but with Anna I was so nervous because like to me she felt more like a wild card like I love her content I watch her content almost like literally since I was like in high school okay but I never watched it and was like she is gonna be my best friend you know like I always watched it in more of like a perspective of like admiration like holy shit like this lady like not lady she's a girl okay this girl like she's just got her shit together like she has like self-help videos but they're not like preachy they're not boring and like they always help me in some sort of way she like is on she was on ant-man like that's a Marvel movie she's in the Marvel universe as a stupid fine writer like literally a stupid fine writer she has her own YouTube original show like she's just accomplished so much that I've always like watched her in just kind of like a different way like not saying that I don't admire anybody else that I've worked with but it was more like oh I admire you I admire your work but I also like just relate so fun 
hard to you that it's like I know we're gonna get along like I know that like we're gonna have like the same sense of humor but with Anna it was just like I just was so nervous because I was like listen like I feel like I'm just like meeting someone that like I don't know how to explain it it's just so interesting like I want to be able to be as disciplined and as like career driven as her like I don't know if I want to do like the same things as her but just like her energy of being so into like her career and just getting shit done it felt so disoriented the entire time because my brain cells are all over the place and she's so self-aware I think that was like the one big takeaway from today I think I'm self-aware in the fact that like I understand certain things about me like I'm kind of crazy and like you know stuff like that but she's so in tune with herself that I just felt I was just so captivated I hope she's not offended if she's watching this Anna sorry like and she would just talk and I would just stare and like my reactions were so like I didn't even know how to react like she's just really in tune with herself but I hope you guys enjoyed our time together I love you guys so so much I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys <gasps> let's do comments of the day I said that I was bringing those back after we got back from Korea and I have been a freaking loser and I haven't been doing it you know one thing about comments of the day that nobody realizes because my life is so hard and nobody understands me. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It's just, I always want to give everybody comments of the day. Like, I know nobody really cares that much, but I'm like, no, like, I feel weird just picking one person. Like, I want everyone to be comments of the day, but then that would defeat the whole purpose of comments of the day. But today is a comment of the day. Actually got so many likes, and it's by Jamie Yu, and this was on the one where I spoke Korean to my fiance for 24 hours, and it says, next episode, Steph fiance speaks Mandarin to Stephanie for 24 hours and I didn't know if you guys would be interested in that and I just threw out that idea at the end of the video and 3.2k likes wait and then the next one why is this one underneath oh my god I forgot to heart it I'm so sorry Ellie Cakes I'm gonna go heart it right now but Ellie Cakes said I vote for Stefiance speaks Chinese only and that got 3.4k too and then the next one was by Hayla and she, she said the same thing and it got 1.6k so like apparently that is a highly requested video and it's coming your way just leave it in the comments what do you guys want to see us do because we've tried cooking we've tried grocery shopping or maybe we can just do like a day that my fiance wants to have but in mandarin so i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys tomorrow